Now also at Cobham this week, our cameras found a certain special guest that came to see Antonio Conte. Still got the same hairdo beneath the shades, Pat. That is Fabrizio Ravanelli, a European Cup winner 20 years ago with Antonio at Juve. Do you know, oddly enough, I wouldn't have quite recognised him in the dark glasses, because of course he didn't wear the dark glasses when he was playing, but he was cool enough to get away with them if he had won them. What a player and what a team that was. He made a phenomenal group of players that was in Italy at the time. He was a fantastic player. But to think he played for Middlesbrough. Heck of a team, Antonio Conte doing the protection behind Ravanelli and a certain Gianluca Vialli up front in that Juve side that won the European Cup in 96. Uh, moving on to Cobham now, the training ground where our cameras have been. Now, Chaloba, Aina and Loftus-Cheek were on Friday Night Live this week. But look at the little task, Jason, we gave them during the course of, uh, of training this week. So just to try and subtly, just uh, nutmeg some teammates during the little warm-ups. And look, no. just having a few goes, Ola's <laughs> missed one there. Ola's missed one there. Uh, oh, there's uh, a, oh, that's an yeah, uh, open goal. That is an open goal. Oh, he's done it twice. <laughs> yeah. He's done it twice. He can't move. <laughs> look, Zuma, Zuma yeah, not, not happy. happy. No. Zuma's not happy. No, get off me. I'm not happy with that. Yeah. Well done, boys. Yeah, um, um, yeah there he is. Yeah, yeah I like on. that. This is my favourite, though, because it's one of them <laughs> doing the other. Chiloba doing Olorena, and he knows it. Now, whilst doing their preparation work for Friday Night Live and the arrival of Chaloba and co, um, the gents in the office found this. Jason, 2011, the Academy dance-off. Oh, yeah. Far left, with his hair short, and the winner that year was Nathaniel Chaloba, as crowned by Billy McCulloch. So that was from a show called Inside the Academy, and um, <laughs> what followed it was this. <laughs> what an earth! And we, I've still got that though. I think, I think this is... <laughs> absolutely shocking. Uh, moving swiftly on to social media, and it's all about Nathaniel Chaloba this week. Why does snow fall and rain drops? Rain drops because it's more denser than snow. Yeah? And <laughs> snow decaying. <laughs> is there even an answer to this question? There... Hold on. Why is it called quicksand if you go down slow? Because the more you like move, down. why do you still go down slowly though? Yeah. You never go you, down quick. Do you? you go down quick when you move, like trying to get out of it. That's when you go down. Shut up, man. Put some music together. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you! Wait, wait, how old are you? 21. I believe. 29 today. 8 years to Happy birthday, Skipper. Happy birthday, Skipper, indeed. 36 years young. That is now half a lifetime officially in the Chelsea first team, which is pretty cool. And uh, he, speaking of social media, captured this this week from Cobham Jason. This is Eduardo. We've got some sort of machine firing ping pong balls at him. Interesting. <laughs> what are these lot doing? Two more games, two more wins, Pat Nevin. 40 points and staying up. <laughs> Hooray! Officially. Yeah, and we should start singing that a little mm. bit. Um, no, fantastic that we've had such a brilliant start to the season. The other start I really like, we've won more Premier League games this season than we won the entirety of the last season. That's a start. That is before Christmas bonkers, really. Um, Fabregas with the goal up on Weir side. Well done him, lovely finish. And Courtois as well, both ends well, of the half. Well, Fabregas absolutely phenomenal that he comes in, the manager's decides to bring him for Matic, and he scores a goal. That's mm. not a bad decision, that one. Mm. I like that one. But Courtois, that really got me because this is not the first time he goes out at half time to warm up. Now, is he doing it because he's bored, because he's got cold, or whatever reason? He's done it a couple of times now. Thank goodness he did. And he told us about it afterwards. When it's you know summer weather or, or uh, not cold, you know you can stay warm and it's no problem. But when it's now cold like this, it's good to keep yourself warm, be again busy with your hands, and it proved myself good because early second half I made a good save and then the last minute as well, so that was very good. Could have been any one of three ex Blues scoring for Sunderland. None of them did. Barini normally does. Gilavoggi, I thought, quite a good game actually, but Patrick Van Arnold was the one. I, know. I mean, he thought that was in. It was hilarious because he goes to go and celebrate and. We don't like to laugh at our ex-players, you know. We like Patrick Van Arnold, but he's going to celebrate our nightmare. So, you know, old players, friends, but don't score against us. That was Sunderland. West Brom was the worst game of football and nothing interesting happened except the fact that Frank Lampard popped by to say hello afterwards. He met Antonio Conte and a few pictures and went in the dressing room. And on the subject of old friends, down at Cobham, Andrea Pirlo came to see Antonio Conte and 
two people keeping fit. The Coles, back with the under-23s. I mean, brilliant for them, the youngsters, I mean, to be training with, with Joe and Ashley. Players that of that standard, the youngsters will look at them, they'll probably still learn stuff. I mean, you, you might lose some pace, but you don't like, lose knowledge of the game. So that's really good for the kids to see these guys around. But also, in the bigger term, this is a player that welcomes back the heroes, mm -hmm. and uh, certainly the two Coles are definitely heroes. Bournemouth Pat. Banana skin last year went all wrong, but we're going to go a bit further back. The, la the last time before that, they came to the bridge. Yeah, that is a quite a long time ago. It's, uh, who is it scoring this? I think it's Jukebox. Jukebox Jury, <laughs> is it? But Babylon? Yeah, in the background. What are the cars doing in there? I think the Sweeney must have been being filmed. <laughs> Something I missed there. I don't think they should have been there. It's always silly season, the January transfer window. We shall leave you with some memories of those days past and say Happy New Year. Goodbye, Philip. Matic with the hit. Nemanja Matic, what a goal! Volley. Oh!